Washington Post reporter Jeff Stein was hammered over the weekend for framing the White House's potential appeasement of Senator Joe Manchin, DW. Virginia, in order to pass a massive spending bill as making grueling cuts to President Joe Biden's agenda, aides planning how to make grueling cuts to Biden agenda to accommodate centrists Manchin's $1.5 teeth top line. Equals asterisk asterisk 60% asterisk asterisk cut to Biden's plans, Stein wrote on Twitter. Wrenching choices of what gets left out, homelessness or climate? Seniors or poor? Hungry or sick? The massive Democrat-backed $3.5 trillion spending bill, which progressives have demanded coincide with a bipartisan $1.2 trillion infrastructure bill, hit a roadblock in the Senate as moderates Manchin and Senator Kirsten Sinema, de Arizona, refused to back it. Both cited concerns over the cost of the bill as reason for wanting to compromise and reach an agreement on a smaller, more targeted bill, something that appears to have made little progress following weeks of negotiations. Critics took to social media to blast Stein, taking issue with his framing that changes to the spending proposal would amount to a cut, considering a negotiated bill would still lead to a massive increase in government spending. Washington Post reporter frames passing a somewhat less massive spending bill as a cut. No, it's still massive new spending on top of government's already massive unsustainable spending wrote one critic, while another referred to Stein's framing as status quo bias hacking. All of this is a massive increase in government spending. Nothing is a cut, wrote former 2020 Trump campaign communications director Tim Murtaugh, while another pointed out that the federal government was already set to spend trillions on non-defense-related items over the next decade. Conservative media watchdog Newsbusters suggested the Washington Post needed to have its own fact-checker fact-check Stein's claim. How do you make grueling cuts to spending that hasn't passed yet? It wrote. Congressional Progressive Caucus Chair Rep. Pramilo Jatakal, D. Wash admitted Friday that progressives would have to lower their spending expectations for the bill in order for it to reach the level of support needed to pass both houses of Congress. If no deal is reached, two of Biden's legislative priorities would be under threat ahead of next year's midterms, potentially placing more pressure on Democrats amid his falling approval rating. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.